Boogie boogie bum, boogie boogie bum, boogie gum 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 boogie 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 bum, boogie boogie bum, boogie boogie bum, boogie boogie bum, boogie boogie bum. I moved out here because I, I joined a band and we rehearsed out here. And back in the day, there was like a few rock stars lived out here, and then, like I said, it was senior citizens. Haste makes waste. West Seattle is kind of bumville Egypt. You know, it was like too far from downtown. You live up way out in West Seattle. <laughs> to me, it was always close enough yet far enough from the city. Boogie boogie bum boogum gum gum go boogie 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 bum boogie boogie bum. There were a few crazies out here. You could see a grandma with blue hair and then a punk rocker with blue hair. But young families were not out here. Either was this. I like to just walk up and down the strip, kind of like I'm the security guard, though there's nothing to be secure. It will go. It's a game. Uh, I'm a big fan of Easy Street. I've been friends with Matt Vaughn, the owner, for years because he used to manage one of the bands I was in. And Easy Street has also evolved significantly. As you can see, neon all over the place. And it's also got a cafe, which is booming. And they have a great music selection. This was like the meat market. This is it. Everybody in here that works in here is super hot. And uh, everybody that hangs out there just about is super hot. And it's a little too hot for me. They go to kimono. And do we really want to know which way There are a couple of nice drinking holes in, this, in West Seattle that had this kind of welcome I'm not all that much of a drinker, so I wasn't into them, but it had this, 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 a drinker vibe in there where, you, where people could get their, get their drink on and not have to be trying to be cool, you know? They could just get it on like a crouton and do their thing, but they're disappearing slowly but surely, and this was one of them. Here we are, once again, at CMP Coffee in West Seattle. CMP Coffee Company stands for Cameron and Peter. We support this business because they are excellent individuals. The coffee is outstanding, and all of their employees are just rocking. They support the uh, music scene like crazy. And you can come here on like a Saturday afternoon and just be stumped from the heart-filled music for free. This is Alki Beach, semi-infamous, if you will, because it becomes more than crowded, more than crowded. Nature doing its thing. Yeah, we know who's boss. We're just trying to get paid. Nature's the boss.